So, Mephibosheth dwelt in Jerusalem, for he ate continually at the king's table. And he was lame in both his feet. 2 Samuel, chapter 9, verse 13. Mephibosheth was no great ornament to a royal table, yet he had a continual place at David's board, because the king could see in his face the features of the beloved Jonathan, Mephibosheth's father. Like Mephibosheth, we may cry unto the king of glory, What is your servant, that you should look upon such a dead dog as I? But still, the Lord indulges us with close fellowship with himself, because he sees in our countenance the remembrance of his dearly beloved Jesus. The Lord's people are dear to him for another's sake, such is the love that the Father has for his only begotten. For his son's sake he raises his son's lowly brethren from poverty and banishment, to courtly companionship, noble rank, and royal provision. Their deformity will not rob them of their privileges, Lameness is no barrier to sonship. The cripple is as much the heir as if he could run like Asahel. Although our weakness may cause us to limp, but our rights as God's children will never cause this. A king's table is a noble hiding place for lame legs, and at the gospel feast, we learn to boast in infirmities because the power of Christ rests upon us. However, a grievous disability may mar the persons of the best-loved saints. Here, Mephibosheth is one, feasted with King David and yet both his feet were so lame that he could not go up with the king when he fled from the city, and was therefore maligned and injured by his servant Zeba. Saints whose faith is feeble and weak and whose knowledge is slender are great losers. They are exposed to many enemies and cannot follow the king wherever he goes. Like Mephibosheth, this infirmity frequently arises from falls. Bad nursing in their spiritual infancy often causes new converts to fall into a despondency from which they never recover, and sin in other cases results in broken bones. Lord, help the lame to leap like a deer, and satisfy all your people with the bread of your table. Amen.